When you find out that your son's gonna lose his sight, you obviously just want him to be able to see everything and anything that he could. 14-year-old Jack sits at the kitchen table with his mother, Jeanette. My thought was we have to go to Disneyland, we have to go see trees, we have to go to parks, we have to watch every movie that I ever want him to see, because in my eyes that he was gonna go blind and he wasn't gonna be able to see. Jack rides his bicycle down the street in front of his parents' house, something he couldn't do well before. Knowing that there was no cure, I felt there had to be something. So that's when we found the Foundation Finding Blindness. A drone flies up through the clouds, revealing the skyline of San Francisco. I currently serve as the chair of the Scientific Advisory Board for the Foundation Fighting Blindness, really the premier scientists that are doing research in the field of inherited retinal degenerations. Dr. Jackie Duncan sits at her laboratory imaging room at UCSF. Every year, really, I think we learn a little more about ways that vision might be potentially restored to patients or that there, we might be able to intervene in a disease course such that we keep vision alive longer. My eyes didn't like just get better in one night. It was over time. It gradually got better. I wouldn't have met Dr. Pierce had it not been for the foundation. We had told him that as soon as it was FDA approved, we would be your first patient. And Jack was our, his first patient. Various news articles tell the story of Jack receiving Luxturna and gaining eyesight. I don't have to hold on to my friend's shoulders anymore when I, when I go to a movie theater or go at, outside at night. It is a really e rapidly evolving field. The success of recent treatments leading to the first FDA-approved gene therapy, and certainly in all of ophthalmology, has led to a tremendous amount of enthusiasm and excitement and interest in the field. Jack shows us how he can play basketball in his backyard now. He makes a basket. The surgery is definitely successful. Jack can see a whole lot more. He can see in the dark. He has better peripheral vision. He's a lot more confident. He's a lot happier, I think. Smiles sometimes. Yeah, right now he's normal because he'll be punished after this, like every other teenager not listening to his mother. She's 100% <laughs> right. <laughs> Visit fightingblindness.org to learn how you can help us shed a light on treatments for blindness.